Hi, welcome back to the channel. We are back in my favourite charity shop. This is the biggest cancer research in Scotland. I um, have to always come here, at least every time I go thrifting. In this bag, I do see some Disney gold tone chip earrings. And even though the costume, they do sell. I will go through each thing I purchased here and I'm popping up what I want to get for each piece. Um, so it's just an idea of why I'm picking things up and how much I hope to get for them. Their shelves are fairly packed, so it is quite a picking experience. You really need to hone in. A nice vintage tray, home sweet home. And this is quite a good score. A nice load of copper yes. for four pounds. And this is what I hope to achieve for each piece. The charger on its own and then all the utensils on their own all open to offers all my items are open to offers on ebay so if there is anything you like please i will give you a good discount being a youtube viewer checking down here things are stacked so you've really got to go through it all um i'm pretty sure i've looked at this Three or four times in the past. Does anybody know what this is? Editing it, I'm like, I still don't know. So let me know if you know. I do pick this up, but it will be researched. So stay tuned. I didn't pick these up. They had a wobble to them, but otherwise I do like nesting baskets. Now this large fish platter plate was really nice, nicely done, good porcelain, but it's a danger to ship. <laughs> this is a no-brainer, I love original art, well done original art. So here I am unpacking everything, trying to put it all into a better basket. So like I said, I researched the Franklin Mint candle holder there in store and the teacups and saucers. I actually didn't film picking those up, but um, I will research those. The nutcracker, the plaque, the little earrings, the art glass heart and the trinket pot. So I was happy with all of these and most of these were on the three for two pounds what does that make it like 65 pence each ish so super cheap and then i google search these and they go straight back <laughs> and these shelves are so packed it's hard to find safe places for everything <laughs> Now, it was the lines on this jug that made me look at it. It's Danish, it's clean, it's white, it's perfect for any decor. And this is what we ended up with. I'm really happy with that. And these are the finds of the day, just one shop, and I think I did pretty good. I like all my pieces. And just like that, it's all listed. So, I'll put up on screen how much I got this eBay bundle for. And £10. So, I've taken out the... There was like an amber bead bracelet. And I took that out immediately because I'm keeping that. And I wore it the day I opened this. <laughs> this is all kind of going to craft. This lot here will go to a bundle it's just some funky brass hoops um i think these are faux malachite i don't think that's real and then this brooch is quite cool it's metal with enamel paint maybe that's it's nice it's cool unusual so bundle craft keep and sell on its own so my keep pile is here so i love these ones 
they're not sterling they're lovely lightweight perfect so my ears do react when i wear non-silver and gold but i can wear them for a few hours so that would do like a meal or something like that <laughs> we have these here again lightweight they're like peruvian i believe but i love the color i love the design and i think they would just make an outfit really kind of pop and again with these these are just so strange <laughs> i love them they're kind of tangled but i might take that off you know so it's just the three swirls because i like those as earrings so yeah even though they're not silver and i shouldn't be wearing them i will wear them and i will just have sore ears so this is my keep pile let me take this out of the box okay not keep but sell on their own sorry so i really like these ones hand painted i've not tested them for silver this part looks silver this part doesn't look silver but i will test them but they're lovely vintage we like and then these ball ones are from the Swedish Isle of Gotland. These are Gotland ball Viking. I believe they're in like a Viking style earrings and they go for like 40 to 50 pound a pair. So we have some malachite ones and some lapis ones and they're sterling silver. They're gorgeous, lovely weight. We like. Okay. Then we have there's some tangled together already okay these ones are lovely sterling silver with like a navy blue stone i'm not sure what that stone is i don't have a gem tester they are marked 925 beautifully constructed lovely vintage earrings lovely these ones again i don't have a gem tester so i can only kind of guess they might be small rubies because they are so small and a blue maybe blue topaz maybe aquamarine i genuinely don't know sterling silver beautiful and then the best ones out of the lot are these 14 carat white gold they're not british i think they might be russian it has a bull um assay mark and I, I can't find it but the form of them i'm just finding a lot of russian jewelry of this kind in the 14 karat white gold with this construction so if you know let me know the gorgeous blue stone in there it's really beautifully cut so you can see that so yeah find of the box and I was happy enough with everything else. So perfect for £10. You know, I don't know how much money I'll get back from that, but well worth it. And I get a few, what I like to think is freebies. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.